Here's our second day with Anki Overdrive. All the tracks, inside, outside, day and night. We had a lot of fun. Welcome to our Anki Overdrive day. As you can see, first thing in the morning, the kids got Anki Overdrive out and we set up this relatively simple track. We could fit into their room, get some racing done um, just before we had some breakfast. And through the day, we try out different tracks, different setups, different locations. So we're going to be looking at those. So as you can see, there's tight competition here as all three of them race with, alongside an AI commander. The track we designed to fit into their room a few loops one crossover but certainly that worked pretty well so for what we wanted to do after trying it out in the room we thought why not take it out into the garden now this is i think an interesting part of anki overdrive because the electrics because all the electronics are inside the car and not on the track it works much better in the garden i certainly wouldn't want to be taking my scale electrics track out onto that slightly damp grass because I just don't think it would work because the, the power is self-contained in the cars as you can see we set up a rather nice circuit got a banked curve around the tree there and up onto our garden bench the trick was to get that slope the right sort of gradient so that the cars could get up, up it now this being an English summer we found that before long the rain had started to come. If you take a close look at the track, you can see some raindrops falling and the kids realizing that their cars were losing traction. So we had to pack up, but what we could do was leave the track out in the rain because it was absolutely fine. Grab the cars, run inside, wait for the rains to clear. As we got back out, got some kitchen towel, wiped the track down so it was absolutely clean and we could go racing once again. Now, so the track we created here, we had a lot of fun with this because it created a situation where you needed to work out how fast to go. So up this slope was a good point to try and take down the other driver because if they lost power, they would not only be stopped, but they would fall off. This back chicane section around past the tree, you had to get the right speed. Now this, this corner going down here, if you did full speed, you see that? He almost came off there. If you do full speed down that corner, you will come off. So not only that, but you have to position yourself on the inside of the track. So you took that corner nice and tight drift too far to the outside and you were sure to fall off and this near side chicane again you had to get that speed just right it created a whole load of extra tactics and strategies with the game so whether we were playing king of the hill race time tri trials or battle you had to pay attention to how fast your car was going so playing out the garden was a really nice thing not only did it um, create a different setting but it also meant we had an absolute ton of space to enjoy these race games as you can see my son there with his tablet and all the family got out at different stages to join them but then as the day part went on we moved into the evening and as you can see we set up again another track back in the bedroom but with the lights out with it dark outside again it created a completely different feel and the kids really enjoyed the sort of the lights effect and trying to work out which your car was staying ahead of the field whether you're just racing or doing a time trial again required a whole new level of strategy you have to really pay attention to the color of the lights and the location of your car and i like that about anki overdrive it certainly creates lots of different scenarios to have fun with this sort of video game toys to life crossover and we've been advancing our cars so they're working their way through the levels we're getting lots of loot crates to upgrade and add weapons and again that has changed how we play the game and each of the children have got their own particular car that they're working on upgrading so there you go that is our anki overdrive day we spend a lot of time with the game we'll be bringing our full review of it soon but you know first impressions are really good i really enjoy the variety that it brings and also that sense of personality and characterization as we upgrade our physical toys and then take them back onto the track to see how we can do against each other so i'd like to know is this something which is catching your eye yet yeah, anki overdrive is a slow burner but i think it's going to be rising in popularity over the coming months do let us know in the comments but for now that's all we've got time for on family gamer tv